All right, so now that the trim is on, next step is to mount the tabletop to the support right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this board is a little bit bowed. So securing it will really help make that flat again. Um, some DF, so it's not gonna be perfect. And I'm probably gonna do a similar thing with the plug where I'm gonna drill two holes with the Forstner bit uh, at the size of the dowel, go about halfway through, put a screw in it, and then plug it up with the, the dowel. And uh, it's gonna give it a nice clean look. No screw heads, and it's gonna be flat. So it should be, should be good. And then after that, I'm, I'm thinking about doing some light oil or wax on this thing so that it doesn't leave any stains. Um, and MDF will absorb different things and uh, I want it to look uniform and not all like ugly and stainy and spotty. So I'm gonna look into that and uh, get whatever I need to make that happen. And then, uh, yeah, I'll go from there. Tabletop. Just got myself some paste wax to uh, put a nice finish down, and so the table uh, is protected and doesn't get nasty and smeared and you know get oil spots or whatever. Um, so, but before I do the waxing, I have to sand it all down. It's gonna take some time. Let's get to it.
once the surface, the wax is a little dry, I'm gonna take, go back with a, a clean cloth and wipe all this excess off so that it leaves a nice clean table with no streaks like this. home from work and uh, my legs have arrived so with my project of the queen size desk my original intention was to have uh, lifters for my legs so that I can move it up and down um, depending on what I was working on so if I wanted to sit and do some sewing I could bring it down and if I wanted to go to bed since my bed is underneath this whole thing can raise it up so I got enough clearance and so yeah this has arrived now I can complete my project and say it's done so let's see what it looks like but uh, should be four individual legs that I can mount on each corner and uh, gonna figure out how to wire it up and I got a little keypad that has memory uh, Features. So you can just push a button, you go up and down, you can set it to whatever you want. Let's open it up. So, since the only thing supporting this bed is these 4x4s, which are not screwed down, uh, what I'm going to do is hook up the computer, the brains of everything, and then drop 
these new legs down and lift it off of these posts and then I can get rid of it and then and then it's just a matter of uh, wiring it inside so I don't see the cable and that's that it's pretty exciting Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alex Caves, and if you liked what you saw, please subscribe. If you didn't, leave a comment below. We'd like to hear your negative feedback so that we can improve uh, from your comments. And uh, please support me on Patreon because uh, everything that I create for these videos is self-funded. So any sort of support in uh, future projects is very much appreciated. On Patreon, you'll be able to stay tuned with what I'm working on right now. I have a really interesting development going on. So if you wanna be informed with what's going on, please become a patron, it's only a dollar. And uh, I'll see you next time, thanks.